This is the Weebang Virtue SSD BBC 3-in-1 mower. So yeah, you can side discharge, bag, and uh, rear discharge. You can't mulch with this version because of the blade brake clutch, the BBC, that uh, stops your blade spinning when the engine's still on. Um, I wish I'd uh, got the 4-in-1 without the BBC actually because uh, I do miss being able to mulch. This would be ideal. So a couple of pro tips for this mower. There's not much really, um, but there's two big ones that you most definitely need to do, in my opinion anyway. One, that is increase the RPMs. Um, I've got another video out showing you how to do this, so I'll, uh, I'll link that down below somewhere. But it's very easy. Um, all you need to sort of really do is look at what, when you move your throttle, look at what's moving and look at what's hitting limiters and stuff like that. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so get a tachometer. That's what I use anyway to um, check. Um, the next thing is get a high lift blade on here. I'll, um, I'll show you the other one now. Right, so with the Weebang Virtue 53, um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to get a high lift blade for it. This is the blade it comes with. Not bad lift, but uh, nothing special. And this is the high lift, high lift version. As you can see, it's got a lovely big wing on it. It's... Uh, you can see the comparison there but this blade bags amazingly so get one of these that's the first thing I did I haven't even used this blade yet this the one that came with the, with the machine that is the part number there for the BBC version for the 53 SSD BBC so definitely get one of these blades um, quality wise with these blades they're not bad so this is the stock blade that come on it and this edge is absolutely awful this is so blunt and if the camera will focus on this corner which I don't think it's going to look at this yeah there we go look at the state of that corner it's almost like it's been sharpened and then dropped and then painted. Even if you don't get a high lift blade, give these uh, the stock ones. Give these a sharpen. So yeah, 100%. Get one of these high lift blades. It uh, bags amazingly. So the next thing I've done is I've cut my side discharge chute down because it was it comes out to about here and it's so angled at the ground where you kind of when you're side discharging you want it scattering so I've lopped off about I don't know two or three inches again I'll show you a picture of that what it used to look like and this shorter one it spreads it out spreads the cuttings out a lot nicer doesn't leave them in rows and clumps which is what you don't want when you start discharging um, those are the pretty much the three biggest things really um, you can adjust where your um, rear drive kicks in if, if it's kicking in too um, you know too early because sometimes you want to be able to sort of do a turn and not have to release it all the way back if that makes sense so you can adjust it there, but obviously you need to make sure it's still engaging. Um, but yeah, you can just do it so it engages slightly closer to the handle, if that makes sense. Other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this mower. This engine's a brute, it uh, goes through most things. But like I say, you definitely need the high lift blade. That bag's amazing in the dry and the wet, it bags brilliantly with that high lift blade on. 
um, the the normal blade is yeah not the best and it's so hell of a blunt as well that normal blade was seriously blunt so if you have got a wee bang just check check your blades give them a sharpen that's pretty much it for this little wee bang so I'm glad I've got it because it, uh, it plows through stuff it's pretty much my overgrown sort of uh, overgrown cutting mower if anyone else has got any uh, other tips they'd like to share just you know leave them down in the comments and uh, yeah thanks for watching